Sure. Thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Michael Cohen. I'm the city's director of economic and workforce development. Um, we're here uh, really quite thrilled and excited to announce uh, the uh, relocation of Nectar Therapeutics into the city of San Francisco. Uh, undoubtedly will be one of the biggest uh, new leases uh, in San Francisco this year and a really uh, affirming statement of the success of what we're trying to do at Mission Bay uh, and elsewhere in the city. Uh, I'll be very brief and turn it over to the mayor. We, ha we do have Howard Robin, who's the CEO, and uh, I think much of his executive team is here. Um, you know, the city, based on hard empirical data from uh, the work we did around developing the city's economic plan a couple years ago, has really focused on uh, attracting innovative industries in the areas of biotechnology, digital media, and green technology. Uh, Mission Bay has clearly become a centerpiece of these efforts uh, and bringing uh, a, a company like Nectar, which is uh, such a strong company in a very competitive field, uh, to the other innovative mix that we have going on at Mission Bay and in San Francisco is uh, just wonderfully affirming, uh, particularly in these difficult economic times. So with that, let me turn it over to Mayor Newsom to say a few words. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. And uh, wanted to, uh, well, first of all, uh, welcome Nectar to San Francisco. Uh, this is a big day for San Francisco. This is a bigger day for Mission Bay. Uh, and in every way, this is an affirmation, uh, as Michael was saying, of some of the efforts of the city uh, to begin to get aggressive and not rest on our laurels and start to recruit as well as retain a biotech life science uh, companies uh, in San Francisco. I think many of you recall we had, with some fanfare, uh, an announcement in April of 2008 where we were down in Mission Bay uh, at the groundbreaking of uh, a site that was to be the headquarters of Pfizer's Bioinnovation and Biotherapeutic Center. Uh, there was a lot of enthusiasm because at the time that marked uh, the 40-ish or so company, the biotech company that had uh, made a commitment to come back to the birthplace of biotech San Francisco. Uh, we had some fits and starts, the rumors decided to, or started to swirl, and eventually Pfizer decided uh, with an acquisition they had uh, to remain in their existing locations and not make the commitment to Mission Bay. There was a lot of question marks uh, that were left after that announcement, uh, but we tried to calm some that sort of suggested uh, that this was a fatal blow to the efforts to revitalize uh, this city's biotech efforts and life science efforts and to continue the progress that we had marked in Mission Bay. Uh, we made the case quite the contrary and hold on. Uh, there were a series of smaller announcements over the course of the last number of months uh, which were very positive but we are waiting for this big announcement and today we are here with this rather substantial announcement where uh, a gentleman uh, that has some familiarity uh, with the city and familiarity uh, to this office because of previous announcements uh, where our CEO is behind me, Howard Robin, uh, is here yet again and I say this because I want to remind you that uh, this is not his first time being at City Hall, not his first time announcing a significant milestone in terms of uh, his commitment to uh, the city and county of San Francisco. You'll recall uh, that we also had, with some fanfare, in 2005 an announcement of CERNA, a company that at the time was located in Boulder, Colorado, uh, that in 2005 said that they were going to move to the city and county of San Francisco. I think, Howard, we stood right here and made that announcement. That was a big deal for us because it really was a bellwether of things to come. At the time, we had a lot of hope that our biotech tax credits and our public-private uh, transaction teams and our permitting strategies and parking ratio work, uh, all of that was going to have some meaning. Our new mayor's biotech advisory committee was going to actually uh, do some good work. But when CERNA announced, uh, it really gave us cause to celebrate. Uh, what happened to CERNA is interesting. No sooner did Howard move his headquarters, and arguably, I'm not even sure we were talking in the back, that they actually had physically had moved, that they were bought up uh, by a large company that some of you may have heard of called Merck. 
uh, and have continued to grow and continue to operate in San Francisco. Howard did not retire. He did not head off to Tahiti. He may have vacationed there uh, after, but he didn't give up and found his way uh, back uh, and uh, is now part of uh, uh, this uh, announcement today as uh, the chair and CEO of uh, a remarkable company that he'll describe in a moment. What does this mean for San Francisco? Minimum 150 jobs, August of 2010. Uh, we'll start to see those jobs um, in the city as uh, the moving trucks will make their way in. Uh, a remarkable site of over 100,000 feet in the heart of Mission Bay will now be occupied. Further momentum and affirmation with now the 52nd biotech company to come to San Francisco. We started with two, you may recall, five years ago. This is the 18th biotech company that will be in Mission Bay proper. Uh, and I think this is going to give a lot of pause uh, for other companies to consider doing the same. I, uh, you'll, I'm sure Howard will describe why he decided to move into San Francisco. I, I want to be its booster, uh, but as mayor, but I'm subjective, and you'll dismiss a lot of my comments as hyperbole. Uh, but I'd like to think he's here because this is where you need to be. If you're going to be a big company and you want to be even bigger, if you're a small company and you have dreams of growing, uh, San Francisco is the place to be. The transportation infrastructure, uh, the human capital that exists here, the proximity uh, to the best and the brightest minds in the world. Uh, San Francisco is a world-class city. Uh, it's an appropriate place, from my perspective, to have uh, a world headquarters. And so we are very enthusiastic and very honored uh, that uh, Howard decided to move in this direction. I want to thank Skip Whitney for his stewardship uh, of this uh, process. Skip has been really one of the big champions of helping encourage biotech companies to San Francisco. And, uh, you know, I, I would leave Skip to Howard to thank, but uh, I want to thank just from a different perspective, wearing a different hat, that uh, it's folks that are out there in the real estate sector uh, that are also big promoters and are really making a strong case for San Francisco. And I want to thank everyone on the uh, Mayor's Advisory Committee that is continuing to do good work and do a lot of outreach. And, of course, the incredible team. Michael Cohen has put together and Todd Rufo and others in the mayor's office that are really following through on their commitments. And I'll just end with this. Uh, Michael Cohen came in a moment ago and we did our perfunctory. Thank you for being here. This is great. And Howard had a wonderful quib about you. You know, I'm, it's what you say all the time. And then Michael made the better point, I think, and that is no, but we are going to do everything to continue to support you uh, for many years to come. And I think that's really the hallmark of real success is that follow through. And that, that's why we're here, to follow through on our commitments and to continue this momentum as we move forward. So with that, uh, my honor to uh, introduce you again to Howard. Uh, and uh, again, thank you, Howard, for your leadership and your stewardship. And uh, congratulations and welcome back to San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. So as, as the mayor said, you know, this is the birthplace of biotech. And what constantly uh, impresses me is that the city of San Francisco, Mayor Newsom and his entire team never forgets that. And an awful lot of work went in by, was put in place by the city of San Francisco to make this a really simple and elegant process for us. There were a lot of opportunities for Nectar to move its headquarters. As you can imagine, uh, a company that's been progressing as nicely as Nectar has, who is becoming one of the important forces in the local biotech community, has had a number of choices in terms of locations, not simply uh, the city of San Francisco. But the entire team in the mayor's office made it so pleasant for us to uh, work together with them uh, that we found this to be just a very smooth process and actually, as I was quoted a few times, saying a very simple decision to move our headquarters to uh, Mission Bay. Now, companies uh, like Nectar who have uh, been struggling over many years to build themselves in the biotech community uh, come, across at some, come to some point in time where they are forced to put in place uh, expansion plans to grow. And once, uh, once you make that decision, you have to find the right place to put your stake in the ground and make that your new corporate home. So going through the local communities in the Bay Area, we looked at many, many facilities and many laboratory buildings and, and many uh, potential sites to put our corporate headquarters. Mission Bay clearly stood out 
as the right place for Nectar to build its home. We have operations right now in San Carlos, California. We have operations in Huntsville, Alabama. We have operations in Hyderabad, India. Uh, but what we were lacking was the, the, the biology labs and the advanced chemistry labs to allow us to further develop our product pipeline. And by taking the opportunity to put our company right in the heart of biotech on the UCSF Medical School campus, we strongly believe that we can uh, harness the talent and bring in even more talent to allow us to grow rapidly. We're working in a number of different areas in medicine. We're working in the area of pain therapeutics. We're working in the area of oncology. We have a number of different drugs being at, at various stages in the human uh, clinical development pipeline. And I do expect that through our technology platform, which is, in my sense, uh, in my judgment, somewhat revolutionary in terms of working with new uh, potential products, uh, we should be able to expand rapidly. And because of that, uh, putting ourselves in the heart of biotech on a campus where we can access great talent, where we can rapidly uh, uh, bring in further insights and bring in uh, um, uh, scientific expertise, uh, we should be able to move our company forward in a, in a much more rapid way than, than uh, other companies that don't have that advantage. So overall, we're very excited about this. We've talked about, we've talked to our employees about this at great length. Uh, everybody's excited. The company's doing exceptionally well, and we're really, we're really looking forward to moving the company into Mission Bay. And I think it's great for San Francisco to bring another company that has unique uh, unique technology to, the, to San Francisco, as well as great for our company to be in the mix of what I think is, again, the heart of biotech. So thank you very much, and I want to thank everybody that was involved in the process. Uh, we're looking forward to a great future here. Thank you. And we'd be happy, of course, to answer any questions, if you have any. Uh, question for Mr. Robin. Uh, I'm curious, you had said that you uh, I, I think the mayor mentioned bringing 150 jobs in. Uh, those are jobs that are already uh, in place with your company, is that right? And yeah. can you talk a little bit about your plans for expansion? It looked like your company had previously kind of shed some jobs earlier. Are you looking at bringing all of those back? Well, we had, we had, shed, job, we had shed jobs in the past because uh, at that point, the company was focused on a few different areas of technology. And now we're much more consolidated in what we do. And uh, I would say at this point, we have about 150 people, 150 jobs that will be moving to the Bay Area, to, to San Francisco, I should say. Uh, however, I would expect that to expand. I can't tell you at what rate we will expand. Uh, we do have a plan of putting at least one or two drugs a year into the clinical development process, novel products in the pain area, in oncology, in antivirals, et cetera. So I think we do have those plans. I think that will take additional people. So I would expect that over time we have significantly more than 150 people uh, in, this op or in this facility. We do have some expansion space available to us, and I would expect that over time we become one of the, uh, uh, really one of the uh, major components of the Mission Bay campus. You talked about harnessing what's nearby and UCSF and those kinds of things. Have you worked with universities on your technology and specifically what what kinds of things have you done with research institutions like that? Well, we, we work extensively with universities, as you can imagine, and uh, throughout the entire United States and, and Europe as well. Uh, but that said, one of the things that is critical to our company is an in-depth understanding of biology. And to be able to expand our biology expertise, uh, we, already, we already have outstanding chemistry expertise, uh, but to be able to further expand our expertise in biology and, and harness the talent of the greatest biologists in the country is one of the great advantages of, of being in Mission Bay. As you can imagine, uh, sitting on the campus of UCSF, uh, I can't think of a, a, a medical school, an institution that has better expertise in, in biology. And that will give us a, a, a tremendous advantage as we move forward. Mr. Mayor, um, how do you see adding a, a big name like Nectar to the area, bringing other businesses? Does it sort of open up the pipeline? Yeah, we, we saw this with CERNA coming in. It was a real validator. People paid attention all across the country and certainly across the state, and I imagine they'll do the same. I mean, people are going to no doubt call Howard and say, well, what was the decision-making uh, that led you to this point? And uh, a lot of good things 
you know, we, we've talked about that tipping point. When is it official? We talked about it with Pfizer in the context of this being 100 plus thousand square feet and a significant opportunity. Arguably, we're there. I mean, once you break that 50 uh, company barrier, I think when you get the kind of quality and talent uh, of people like Howard and his team uh, that are already now making this commitment, I think uh, there's no doubt uh, that the best is yet to come, and I don't think we're going to look back in San Francisco. Remember, though, I cannot underscore this. Just a few years ago, San Francisco and the Board of Supervisors did a resolution condemning bioconference that was here in 2005 and commending the protesters. In fact, it was the front page of the San Francisco Chronicle the day that the biotech conference was convened. Now, try to be its new mayor and make a case for a bioconference that had people around the world, governors and literally world leaders that descended upon San Francisco to get biotech to their uh, cities, states, and their nations. And here we were, this whole city, condemning the conference and commending the protesters. Think how far we have come in a few short years. We talked about the four Ps, perception. We had to address the issue of perception that biotech wasn't wanted. I think we have made a, long, a lot of strides. And by the way, if it wasn't for guys like Howard, we wouldn't have gotten the Stem Cell Institute in San Francisco. It was right after his commitment with CERNA that we started seeing more and more interest, and that interest percolated in the minds of folks in Fresno that made that final decision on the CERM board, uh, the Center for Regenerative Medicine board that made the ultimate determination to headquarter here. Uh, so I think the consciousness on perception changed. The payroll tax is important. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's the reason Howard's here because of the payroll tax exemption, but it's another reason why he can make a strong case for San Francisco uh, so there's not a big differentiator because South San Francisco doesn't have a payroll tax, uh, and San Francisco does. In this case, he'll get the benefit of that. We have state partnerships in terms of enterprise tax zone. Uh, it's, we're in an enterprise tax uh, uh, free zone for certain things, so there's benefits on sales tax and workforce training dollars, all these things. So from a tax policy perspective, from a perception perspective, from a permitting perspective, in terms of getting the transactions in Alexandria to be able to build out the space and make sure that the permits are done on time and we can actually meet the deadline of August 2010 and have Howard have the confidence it will be ready in August so he can make decisions down uh, uh, in terms of when he's going to get out of his old leases. Those are important. And uh, finally, some parking-related issues. You know, we couldn't really park down in Mission Bay. We had some, we're transit-first city, but I think we may have over done it a little bit at the time, and that was the fourth P we had to address, and, um, and I think we've done it. But, of course, you know, you've got Caltrans right there, you've got BART, you've got Proximity 280, uh, you've got Third Street Light Rail. I mean, few places in the state are so ideally positioned, nine million folks in the region, uh, and the ascension right into this heart of uh, Mission Bay with all that intellectual capital. It's a pretty exciting place, and it's a pretty exciting time. So I, I'm I apologize for being long-winded in the response, but um, I think this is a big deal, and I don't think there is any turning back unless city officials turn back to the way we used to do things in 2003, 2004, uh, which to me is, uh, will be at our peril. Any other deals with the pipeline? Yes. Just as I said the last uh, time, and uh, so we're, we're, gonna, we're not giving up, and there's still some good announcements coming up. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to get this type of announcement. This is a particularly big deal. Um, and uh, I remember you guys were very down on us when we announced Pfizer was moving out, and a lot of people were shaking their heads, and it was all over the front pages of the paper. And uh, we said, hold on. And so we hope it gets the same due, front pages of all your newspapers, headlines. Uh, Howard deserves it. The city deserves it. Uh, but uh, I understand. I, I'm being a bit tongue-in-cheek. But uh, this is a big shot in the arm for San Francisco uh, and uh, for our reputation and candidly reinforces California's reputation uh, as a biotech leader and a biotech, um, uh, which is a critical part of the clustering of our economic development strategies in the state. There's a question for Michael. When you uh, look at Mission Bay and you see companies like Nectar coming in and others already established, do you have a sense of how much more either undeveloped land or developed space still needs to be filled out there? Is that well, something your office looks at? And yeah. yeah, I have it right here. Okay. Now this. Well, 1.2 million built, 187,000 square feet under construction. We have design approval on another 1.3 million and uh, another 1.7 million that's been entitled and approved, but we haven't, uh, with our various partners, begun design approval on. And I think the importance here 
and the mayor alluded to this, Mission Bay has passed that critical mass point, the, the tipping point, however we refer to it, where there is uh, enough diversity, enough energy, and enough activity, particularly driven by the rapid expansion of UCSF. The numbers I gave you exclude the massive UCSF uh, investment that's going on in Mission Bay. We're sort of at the perfect place because there's enough critical mass, but for someone like Howard, if he is successful, and they double and triple and quadruple in size, we have the room at Mission Bay to take them and to take them easily, and it would make Alexandria and Steve Richardson very happy to do so. <laughs> but we'll be at a point where we run out of space, and that's why a big part of the work we did with Prop G out in the southeast sector in the Bay Owners Point area becomes critical in making sure we can f finalize that environmental work and move forward with setting aside uh, the uh, strategies to secure additional R&D space for green tech as well as bio and life science. So we're not going to end just in Mission Bay. We want to extend the narrative of biotech down to that uh, central waterfront all the way down in the southeast sector uh, right to the border of the city. Thank you all very yeah. much. Mr. Mayor, do you have a uh, time for something else? Great. Okay, okay, good. I'll let everyone go. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I really appreciate it.